Machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence that uses statistical techniques to enable computers to learn how to accomplish complex tasks. If used correctly, it can bring immense value to the whole world, but it can also be exploited for malicious use. Join us as we talk to Penn State Computer Science PhD student Nicholas Poperno about how we can keep machine learning safe and productive. So as economist Goodhart said uh, in 1975, when a measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. And so as we are using machine learning models in many security and safety critical settings, there are more and more incentives for malicious entities to have them misbehave. What the research that I've been working on has explored is how adversaries can adapt to the fact that we are using machine learning to systematically prevent these machine learning systems from correctly processing inputs. For instance, email providers typically use machine learning model to basically filter out emails that are not legitimate and that are, for instance, spam or contain phishing attacks. And so in that case, the adversary computes systematically from a large amount of emails that are spam uh, variants of these emails that are specifically designed to evade the detection and so they actually reach the inbox of the victims. After a lot of research, the team realized that it is really difficult to prevent attacks against systems that use machine learning. So they created Clever Hans, an open source library where communities get together to build attacks and defenses for machine learning systems. So Clever Hans is uh, a library that includes reference implementations of a lot of the attacks that can be used to manipulate machine learning models. So the reason that we give many examples of the inputs and outputs that we expect the model to predict is that we want the model to extract patterns that are very general, that apply to very diverse emails. One of the many goals of this research is to improve the training process of machine learning models. Once the training models are deployed, they can reliably process inputs even if they were maliciously manipulated by an attacker. The hope is that once we have created this model that is basically identifying these patterns in the data and then based on that inferring what class the data belongs to, so spam or clean, then the hope is that these patterns will be general enough that we can use them to reliably process any input when we deploy the model. The whole point of this research is to find the best ways to force these models to misbehave so that we can address the failures and the limitations of these models and build models that are more robust and that we can deploy with more confidence. Find out more in Making Machine Learning Robust Against Adversarial Inputs, a contributed article in the 2018 Communications of the ACM. Thank you.